Uh, majina jinsi amesema anaitwa honorable dr Harold Omondi Molo mm-hmm. uh, na fundisha JQuart mm-hmm. uh, tangu 2015 mm-hmm. kwa school of computing mm-hmm. na mpaka saa hizi tunajaribu kuboresha agriculture kupitia technology mm-hmm. ndivyo tuko na hiyo mkakati wa innovations mm-hmm na unaweza kujiuliza kwamba mimi ni daktari wa hospitali ama ni wa shule mm-hmm. na mimi ni daktari wa shule daktari wa makaratasi wa well, exactly yes yes <laughs> <laughs> pia nimetunukiwa uh, uh, na his excellency president uru kinyata mm-hmm. ndio naona hapo imeandikwa honorable honorable yes yes nimeona uh, <laughs> hsc yes 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 <laughs> Wow. Kwa hivyo tuko na hiyo mkakati mm-hmm. ya kuboresha masomo mm-hmm. kupitia teknolojia. Mm-hmm. Ah. Wow, na tunashukuru sana. Sasa mm-hmm. ni vizuri tuanze na kujua what is mm-hmm. digital agriculture. Mm-hmm. Tukisema digital agriculture, mm-hmm. sababu sisi tunajua agriculture mm-hmm. ni mchanga, mm-hmm. uh, unachukua na lima, <laughs> uh, unajipaka matofa huko unapata kitu. Eh. So digital agriculture nayo ni gani? Asante ah, sana. Mm-hmm. Ukiangalia katika mkakati wa innovations mm-hmm. ama technology, mm-hmm. dunia ina, inaendelea kusongea katika harakati ya kutumia technology kwa kila hali mm-hmm. na kwa kila environment mm-hmm. ndipo tuligundua kwamba sisi pia kama university mm-hmm. tunaweza kuwa na mkakati ya mm-hmm. kutumia technology mm-hmm. kuboresha agriculture uh-huh. ndipo tunasema kwamba tukiongea juu ya digital agriculture mm-hmm. ni ya kwamba ukiangalia katika karne hii mm-hmm. tuko na visasi sio.com sio analog mm-hmm. lakini tuko na karne wako katikati mm-hmm. wako tu hapo wako tu hapo mm-hmm. wanaitwa the millennials Mm-hmm. The millennials ni wale ambao masha yao pia ni hivyo tu. Mm-hmm. In fact ukiwaambia agriculture wanasema si hiyo itanichafua. Ita, ita mm-hmm. Na masha yao iko tu kwa simu, <laughs> technology na kila kitu kama hiyo. Mm-hmm. Ndipo tukagundua kwamba tukitumia teknolojia mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa ya kwamba wanaweza kuwa na nia ya kufanya agriculture. Mm-hmm. Ndipo tukasema kwamba katika hiyo harakati ya digital agriculture mm-hmm. tunaweza kuwapatia platforms mm-hmm. wanaweza kutumia mm-hmm. ili waboreshe agriculture. Mm-hmm. Kwa mfano katika masomo yetu tuko na um, kakati tuko na vitu kama tunaita um, IoT Internet of Things Internet of Things Internet of Things yes mm-hmm. Internet of Things kwetu kama uh, wale ambao wanasoma ni ya kwamba tunaweza tumia internet mm-hmm. kuvua zamaki baharini Uh, kitu huwa ina tuna, tunafanya ni, ni ya kwamba katika internet hii yangu ambayo nitaeleza mm. tuko na special bulbs mm-hmm. na hizo bulbs zinatumia kitu bulb hii inatupatia mwangaza eh, eh, yes yes mm-hmm. tuko na wifi bulb ya wifi mm-hmm. so hiyo bulb ya wifi ndiyo tumetengenezea ka case mm-hmm. na unaweza kuwa una recharge uh-huh. tunapatia na fishermen wanaenda naye kwa lake uh-huh. wanatumia kuanzia saa moja jioni mpaka saa moja asubuhi uh-huh. utagundua kwamba na wanaitumia kwa njia gani uh-huh. katika hiyo bulb mm-hmm. samaki huwa inavutwa na different colors uh-huh. Sasa for example kama ni samaki type ikiona hiyo mm-hmm. kala itakuwa inakuja karibu mm-hmm. na itasaidia wavuvi mm-hmm. kuvua zamaki kwa hali ya haraka sana. Mm-hmm. Na tukagundua kwamba maybe kama we ni mfufi na uko kwa bahari na uko na shida mm-hmm. unaweza kwa lat wale ambao wako kwa mainland uh-huh. kutumia hii wifi. Uh-huh. So tu, huwa tumeangazia tum, 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 na kwamba tunaweza kutumia internet mm-hmm. kusaidia farmers to fish in the lake mm-hmm. and in case of any danger they can also alert kuna wale wanaitumia wana sasa hivi kwa sasa hizi hiyo hiyo mtambo ndio tume, tumeweka Kindu Bay Kindu Bay iko home ya, iko home home bay county uh-huh. na tume we, tume assemble almost three quarters uh-huh. tumeweka bulb uh-huh. tunatengeneza hiyo chombo ndio isingie maji isingie uh-huh. lakini internet yale iko uh-huh. uh, Kindu Bay uh-huh. yes kwa hivyo hiyo ni mradi ambayo inaendelea yeah ya yeah, hiyo mradi inaendelea it is around 95% complete uh-huh. na tume test tukaona kwamba ni hiyo itakuwa ni ya maana sana uh-huh. pia katika harakati ya digital agriculture mm. tuko na uh, hakika ya kwamba vijana wanaweza kupenda kujua masomo ya agriculture zaidi mm-hmm. so tuko na mkakati ya learning platforms uh-huh. for example naweza kuwafunza mm. jinsi wanaweza kuwa na mkakati ya kufanya kuboresha kilimo kupitia kwa simu zao mm-hmm. lakini lazima ipite kwenye internet mm-hmm. so they can share kitu kwa tunaita tunaita best practices mm-hmm. from developed countries wanaona jinsi inafanywa mm-hmm. na kama wataweza kuwa wanasahau mm-hmm. wanaweza record kupitia kwa internet mm-hmm. na they, wanaweza kujifunza na uwenzao mm-hmm. na ya, ya mwisho ni ya kwamba katika hiyo harakati za digital agriculture mm-hmm. nao ndio nitakuwa naongea kuhusu aeroponics mm-hmm. and hydroponics mm-hmm. 
hizo ndio tumetaja karibu tujiume ulimi. Yes. Asante. Sasa tunataka kujua hii aerophonics na hydrophonics ni kusema nini? Sasa mtu kama shosho akiwa kule ni mtu unaweza funza mpaka ajue kama mamangu ajue kuzitumia. Eh. Katika masomo ya aerophonics na hydroponics. Hydroponics ilivumbuliwa in 1936 na wasomi huko mm-hmm. Ulaya. Mm-hmm. Ndipo tukagundua kwamba ukiangalia katika mimea, mm-hmm. mimea huwa inahitaji kitu moja, mm-hmm. nutrient. Mm-hmm. Ukiipatia wow. nutrient vizuri inaweza kuwa inafanya mzuri zaidi. Mm-hmm. Juu hata ndio huwa inatafuta kwenye mchanga. Uh-huh. So katika mpango wa kusoma mm-hmm. tuligundua kwamba ukichukua nutrient upatiane kwenye mimea mm-hmm. itamea ita zaidi it will be five times better. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Ndipo tukawa Bora ujue hizo nutrients. Yes yes. Uh-huh. Then unazi mix vizuri na mm-hmm. unaipatia. Una so mm-hmm. tukuna kidudi ambapo tunaweka hizo nutrients mm-hmm. na tunaweka mimea. Mm-hmm. Alafu pia tunakuna chumbu huwa uh-huh. inafanya circulation ya air katika hiyo mimea. Mm-hmm. So katika hiyo harakati ya mm-hmm. kusirculate mm-hmm. mimea huwa ina peak nutrients na na ina, ina mea kwa haraka sana. Mm-hmm. Na jambo la la kusangaza ni, uh, ni ya kwamba mm-hmm. nutrient level inaweza kuwa imegrudi chini. Na, uh-huh. na uko Nairobi for example uh-huh. utafanyaje uh-huh. so internet sasa ndio inaingia hapo uh-huh. nutrient kirudi chini uh-huh. inatupatia ina, 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 ina sms inakuwa alert yes uh-huh. so ni kama nutrient uh-huh. ni kama plant inaongea na sisi ni kama vile data ikienda kuisha unaambiwa kwa tu yes. not mb exactly uh-huh. so sasa hiyo mimea uh-huh. inaongea na sisi kwa sms uh-huh. so hiyo sasa ndio digital agriculture tukitumia hydro, hydroponics when hydro is about water uh-huh. hydro ni maji, e, ni maji. Mm. so when we talk about aero mm. aeroponics oh, mm-hmm. sasa ndio hiyo mkakati ya kutumia wifi mm-hmm. to connect with the plant mm-hmm. so naweza kuchukua simu yangu mm. nione level nione sms inaonyesha level ya nutrient mm-hmm. then i can request somebody who is on that end mm. to add more nutrient So that is aeroponics. Bila tu naweza ambia mtu hebu nitumie data yes. yangu inaisha. Exactly. Uh-huh. Sasa ndio huyo anakuwa na hiyo mkakati mm-hmm. ya kuhakikisha kwamba mm-hmm. the level imeongezwa ime vizuri. Mm-hmm. Ya mwisho ni ya kwamba katika hiyo harakati pia tuko na mkataba mm-hmm. ya kuwa na na, na, na lab. Mm-hmm. Tunaangaza tunaangazia kwa mfano turuk, turukana. Mm-hmm. Mali kuna karmi ya hali ya juu. Mm-hmm. Tunasema kwamba tukiongea tukiwa na hiyo mkakati tunaweza kupatiana kufanya pamoja na farmers. Mhm. Tuwatengenezee hizo tubes, tuweke nutrient and then we allow the plants to grow. Na hizo katika hiyo harakati za growth of plants we don't use uh, GMOs, ni natural plants. Kwa hivyo si kitu cha kuja kuwa na madhara kwa binadamu. Kabisa. Mm-hmm. Haina madhara kabisa ni natural mm-hmm. plant because it is the natural nutrients. Hakuna any additives. Mm-hmm. Hakuna. Mm-hmm. So pia ina, itakuwa ina mea mm-hmm. mara tano zaidi kushinda ya kawaida. Mm-hmm. So tumeona hiyo research imefanywa. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tumeona hiyo research imefanywa na tunagundua kwamba katika wale ambao wanaishi kwenye matown mm-hmm. kama Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh, badala ya kushika mchanga na kufanya hiyo unapatiwa tu nutrient uh-huh. and then the plant na huko kwa nyumba yako mm. and then you monitor the growth ya plant yako na simu mm-hmm. na hiyo ni digital agriculture pia mm-hmm. yeah. so aupeleke kwa shamba hapana uh-huh. aupeleke kwa, kwa shamba hakuna mchanga hakuna mchanga uh-huh. yes na ni chakula tutatokea tu kawaida vizuri kabisa kwa maana hata hiyo nutrient mm. ni ya hali ya juu sana kwa hiyo plant uh-huh. mm. So hiyo ni kitu inaweza saidia Kenya to mm. another level. Yeah, itasaidiana kwa mfano kama mali kuna drought. Uh, kwa mfano ukiona turukana saa hizi kama hakuna chakula. So ina... doesn't matter at ni wapi unaiweka. It, it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Kusi na communicate na, na internet, uh-huh. we provide nutrients and all those stuff. Uh-huh. So hata kama uko Nairobi, uko wapi? La, lazima kule, lazima mm-hmm. kule yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So inalingana na, na mahali utaweka let's say uko na shamba dogo mwingine na kona kubwa. Mm-hmm. So hiyo internet mm-hmm. inaenda kulingana na na vile shamba iko kubwa, yani ile space, ile space mm-hmm. that's what I mean. Inalingana na hiyo space umeweka ama inaweza yaeka kubwa na utumie the same amount of wifi. Eh chumba ambapo kitakuwa kina communicate na wifi tuko na mashini mm-hmm. ya ya kutusaidia ku monitor. Mm-hmm. So hii mashini ndio itakuwa ina communicate mm-hmm. ama itakuwa ina wasiliana na mimea. Mm-hmm. So kitu huwa tunafanya ni kwamba kwa mfano kama i, i, kama hii room mm-hmm. tunaweza kuweka mashini mbili ama tatu. Mm-hmm. Na the quantity of plant mm-hmm. unaweza kuingiza katika hii mashini sio kidogo. 
so hiyo plant unaeka kwa machine yani. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Na hiyo machine iko na conducive environment na ni temperature ni kama ya shaba. Uh-huh. Hata iko na red light. Uh-huh. Ku regulate ama kuhakikisha kwamba mwangaza inaingia kwenye chombo uh-huh. iko sawa na hiyo mwangaza ya inje. Uh-huh. Alafu pia tukiweka hiyo nutrient na plant pia tunaweka kuna jinsi tunaweka tunatumia kitu tunaita seed pods. Uh-huh. So tukiweka seed pod uh-huh. na tuingize hizo nutrient uh-huh. na tuhakikishe hizo machine zetu uh-huh. hiyo mimea itakuwa ina kazi vizuri kabisa na hata ndipo uke, ukiangazia countries kama Israel uh-huh. mali ambapo kuna ukarune ya hali ya juu uh-huh. hii ndio huwa wanatumia sana kwa kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna njaa huko uh-huh. so sisi kama wa Kenya uh-huh. tulimwambia kwamba tunaweza kutumia digital agriculture uh-huh. kuboresha ama kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wetu wako na hiyo ni ya, ya kufanya agriculture uh-huh na wala ambao wanaishi katika magorofa skyscrapers mm. unaweza kuwa na hali ya kufanya agriculture bila shida kwa nyumba mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. so kuna ile mimea unasema mm. it do well kuliko nyingine mm. sababu labda hiyo machine sijui inatosha na sijaiona mm. kuna ile mimea unasema hii mm. ndio itakuwa vizuri mm. haiwezi mm. ama inachagua mm. uh, katika hali ya, ya, ya mimea tumefanya utafiti na tukimwambia kwamba we have close to more than 100 types of seeds yeah including the local seeds mm. which we tunaweza kuwa tunaweka pamoja kupitia kwa laboratory yetu na na, na itumike katika hizi machines mm-hmm. pia katika hiyo harakati tukifanya utafiti na tuone hali uh, uh, type ya mimea kwetu mm. tunaweza kuichukua tena mm-hmm. alafu tupatiane farmer suko mm-hmm. tukiweka tukipatiana farmer pia tutawafunza mm-hmm. jinsi ya ya kuweka mfereja ndio hizo nutrients zipitie katika hizo mpirija mm-hmm. na mimea zimee katika hizo tubes mm-hmm. so wakiwa na hizo mm-hmm. kama level ya hiyo nutrient ikiwa chini mm-hmm. bado tutawawekea tuta mark ya kwamba ukiona ikifika hapa mm-hmm. you can either call us ama you can still text us tutaona mm-hmm. na utaongeza ni kwa hii level so we will give seeds mm-hmm. alafu na hiyo nutrient uh-huh. yes kuna ile mimea ambayo already mme test na tuseme ni mpaka imeendelea mpaka imekoma Uh, so, f- so far mm-hmm. tuko na seeds lakini we are still yet to buy that machine because mm-hmm. tumesoma na kwa research tumeona kwamba since those countries are using it mm-hmm. it is also practical from our end uh-huh. so kitu huwa tuko kwa harakati ya saizi mm-hmm. ni ku, we are already setting up our lab mm-hmm. and we are yet to buy the first machine mm-hmm. as jquad mm-hmm. but with the internet everything is okay tuko na sms bundles mm-hmm. we can test we can uh, see how communication can be done mm-hmm. mm. wow thank you so much that tutarudi sasa tukuja kwa internet mm. of the moon mm. sasa mm. <laughs> ata sijui niuliza kivipi utatuelezea mm. ni kivipi tunaweza kupata internet kutoka kwa moon mm. why not the sun why not Asante. the stars or the skies uh, asante mm-hmm. uh, katika hiyo mpango wa internet tuna ukiwa kwenye masomo utagundua kwamba in 1974 mwana mm. sayansi kwa jina Armstrong mm. alienda kwenye mwezi na akaweka vidudi nyingi sana mm. lakini ya muhimu ni ya kwamba kulikuwa na nyingine inaitwa transponder mm-hmm. transponder ni kidudi ambacho inaweza kusend and receive signals mm-hmm. so tukagundua kwamba katika hiyo transponder huwa inatumikwa sana kufanya mm-hmm. controls ya anything on the space mm-hmm. ndipo tuka pia kupitia kwenye uh, research mm-hmm. tuli hakikisha uh, kwamba tuna sisi pia kama wana Kenya tuna, tunaweza kuchukua space ya transponder mm-hmm. so, so that we can send and get signals mm-hmm. ndipo kwenye hiyo mpango mm-hmm. tuligundua ya kwamba signal from a transponder mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa iko na miale ya internet mm-hmm. na so tukawa tuka configure satellite dish hapa chini mm-hmm. na tuka point hiyo transponder Mm-hmm. na sasa tulipokuwa tukiangazia hiyo pointing mm-hmm. ikawa in, in a receive and sending internet packet tuwa tunaita internet packets and signals mm-hmm. so ukiona mwezi mm-hmm. kuna vitu zinaitwa hole kuna mashimo mm-hmm. hizo mashimo huwa zinaitwa telepost mm-hmm. so ukiwa chini kwa earth kwa dunia mm-hmm. na umepoint hizo transponder hizo mm-hmm. mashimo zitakuwa zinasaidia kupata hizo oh. signals mm-hmm. tulifanya hivyo mm-hmm. tukaweka satellite jquad mm-hmm. na tuka tukagundua kwamba internet ili ingia kwenye satellite dish mm-hmm. kupitia kwa satellite dish ikaingia kwa kitu tunaita modem mm-hmm. lafu kwa modem ikaenda kwa server yetu mm-hmm. pia kwa server tukaitoa tena tukaweka juu ya nyumba sasa ika create hotspot Amen. na hiyo hotspot ni kama kuna simu ukiwa na simu uangalie kwenye simu utaona imeandikwa ime, ime internet from the moon So so tulipofanya hiyo base station mm. tukagundua kwamba we can now move on. Mm-hmm. 
na tukagundua kwamba in the whole country hiyo mm. internet can cover the whole country uh-huh. plus other 40 african countries wow. na hiyo internet why 40 why not all uh, uh, in in africa yes we've tested uh, the the presence na tukagundua kwamba working with other international uh, organizations uh, wale wanafanya hiyo mm. kitu tunaita geomatics mm. location mm. wakagundua kwamba hiyo signal ni kwa around 40 african countries uh-huh. So Kenya is covered yote. Mm. Pia tulia, tulia kwamba japo japokuwa tumekava tume Kenya, can mm. we try any other country close to Kenya? Mm. Tukaenda South Sudan. Ah, Mali inaitwa yeah. Kapoeta State. Mm-hmm. Tukaweka satellite dish hapo mm. na ika, ika connect kwa haraka sana. Mm-hmm. Na mpaka last week tuli, tulienda Ngong, Ngong Town. Mm-hmm. Tukaweka dish hapo mm. ikapata internet vizuri sana. Mm-hmm. Alafu then two days back tulienda Kindu Bay in Homa Bay County. Mm. Tukaweka net kwenye eh, ah, karibu na bahari. Mm-hmm. Hapo ndipo ah, itatusaidia kwa hiyo IoT ya hiyo ya mm-hmm. ya fishing. Mm-hmm. But so far tuligundua kwamba sisi kama Kenya mm. kuna haja ya ku upgrade our system. Mm-hmm. Tuli, watu wanaongea juu ya 5G 5G. Mm in the developed countries wanatumia 5G including China among others mm. but they don't know that even in Kenya yeah. our internet uh, mm. is a 5G internet uh-huh. besides being a 5G internet mm. tumegundua kwamba the world is moving towards kitu huwa tunaita uh, IP 6 hizi computer zote ambazo tunazo saa hizi inatumia IP 4 uh-huh. but tuligundua kwamba sisi kama university we can also have a system which is upgraded to ipv6 mm. in the next few years mm. all computers you see around will be upgraded to ipv6 by the way mm. so to, to automatically or? yeah they, they should ne kama ile 2000 when computer yeah. changed mm. the millennial change yes mm. so it is also, also okay. happening with the ip addresses uh-huh. the advantage ya ni kwamba kama uko na ipv5 mm. inakimbia kwa ipv6 mm-hmm na uko na 5G. Mm. Advantage ni ya, ni ya kwamba unaweza kufanya mambo mengi sana kwa, kwa, kwa internet. internet. Unaweza kufanya digital agriculture, mm-hmm. unaweza kufanya robotics, mm-hmm. unaweza kufanya artificial mm-hmm. intelligence among others. Mm-hmm. So hiyo pia ni mkakati vizuri sana. Mm-hmm. So kwa hivyo hata mpaka saa hizi mm. utukiweka dish anywhere you, you can have internet. So uh, ni kitu inaweza tumika Kenya. Yes. But it's an expensive one. Uh, the, yeah because of course like you can realize how much will it, will it cost i will tell you it cost around 400000 ndio pata kila kitu lakini niligundua pia ya kwamba Kenyans need internet most of internet kusema kampuni moja imechukua na ime ime hiyo ime invest hiyo 400000 itasaidia kila mtu kwenye hiyo kampuni eh wakichukua as fast enough yeah okay, yeah akiweka yeah, Mm. Ata, it, itakuwa na itakuwa connected na their local network hiyo ni kwanza mm. Ana, wanaweza kuwa wanafanya kitu huwa tunaita virtual private network or maybe wako na maofisi mali tofauti tofauti mm. wanaweza ku connect mm-hmm. pia wanaweza kuweka bundles mm-hmm. then we can have the monitor from our end mm. hiyo pia tunaweza kufanya and ndio hiyo developed countries huwa wanafanya kama kama America mm. kuna company inaitwa Isotronics Isotronics yes yeah. Kitu wao wanafanya ni, ni ya kwamba they are also doing something uh, closer to that. Wako na internet yao uh-huh. na kama saa nyingine demand ni nyingi uh-huh. they can also outsource from others na wanaweka pamoja na wanasaidiana. Uh-huh. So sisi pia kama Kenya for example kama hii ni kampuni uh-huh. tukiwapatia dish moja yeah. mnaweza kutumia kwenye network yenu. Uh-huh. Lakini hiyo ni moja pia ya kwamba utagundua kwamba katika hiyo harakati ya, ya kuitumia uh-huh kama u, u, kwa mfano kama the cost is very expensive mm-hmm. tumekuja na njia rahisi ya kufa, kusaidia wa farmers mm-hmm. instead of telling a farmer to, to pay 300 400000 for example yeah. tumekuja na kitu inaitwa in, 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 wifi or wifi atm mm-hmm. kama hii atm ya pesa uh-huh. mkulima anachukua simu mm-hmm. ana tap tu kwa hiyo wifi machine uh-huh. na haina password ama username mm-hmm hiyo kidude ndio itakuwa inaweka inamweka in, in internet kwa simu yake uh-huh. so akiwa na hiyo internet kwa simu na yeye ni farmer mm. you can also talk communicate and also get oh. even do marketing again uh-huh. through their uh-huh. their phone uh-huh. na hiyo pia tumekuwa supported a lot by our vc uh-huh. our vice chancellor from the university yeah. and my colleagues they are very supportive uh-huh. and, and they they do a lot in terms of making sure that digital agriculture is real uh-huh. yes so hiyo ni kitu naona kama inaweza anza lini ili iweze kufikia farmers ama wananchi 
Yeah, already even today I'm, I'm supposed to be at Kidube. Mm. We've tested it. It yeah. is working perfectly. Mm. And even so yesterday. So the local community can use it. Yes. So what they will do is that once we put that uh, Wi-Fi equipment, mm. they just tap their phone mm. and they, we are good to go. Mm-hmm. So, so they will be spending maybe one bob per minute, for example, just like cyber in your hand. Mm. We are trying to work it to Najaribu ni kwamba to katika hii wakati tuko na corona tuna hakikisha kwamba vijana hawakai kwa room moja wengi sana tunataka wao pia wa keep distance so katika hii mpango pia na wako na simu wanaweza kuwa ni kama wako kwa cyber lakini wanatumia internet from the moon na na hizo jombo eh who will benefit na na sababu nasikia mtu analipa unalipa wapi kama hiyo one dollar tuko na katika hiyo mashini tuko na mahali unaweka tu hiyo shilingi yako moja and then in it it internet ya yeah, yeah, very fast internet mm-hmm. na beneficiary katika hii mradi ni ya kwamba kuna mali kuna internet hata kidogo lakini farmers wako mm-hmm. so uh, tuna tunangaza anywhere anywhere mm-hmm. bora uwe na hiyo dish yetu mm-hmm. na tunakuwekea hiyo mm-hmm. so anywhere hata mali kuna safari kwa mm-hmm. kuna airtel mm-hmm. yes it will definitely connect mm-hmm. So mk connect hiyo mtambo so sema mmeweka kiambu mm. naweza end up at up to how long the, the, Great. The, uh, the, the equipment tuliweka juzi ni kwamba can do 20 km radius. Uh-huh. Na pia uh-huh. na, Yes. Uh-huh. By equipment uh-huh. because tuko na tunaita uh-huh. antennas. Uh-huh. Antennas huwa zina zina end around. Uh-huh. Inaweza kufanya 20 km. Uh-huh. Pia uzuri pia na, uh, na shukuru Communication Authority of Kenya. Uh-huh. Hivi karibuni wale al- accept uh-huh. some of our equipments to be used in the Kenyan space. Mm-hmm. So katika hiyo pia uh, katika hiyo mpango hiyo mm-hmm. uh, tukiweka hiyo kidude chetu kwenye mm-hmm. mali mm-hmm. dish iko mm-hmm. na it can go 20 km na ukirepeat hiyo mm-hmm. it is another 40 km round. Mm-hmm. So nikisema kwamba hata kama niko juja kwa mfano jackpot mm-hmm. I can transmit internet paka Nyeri mm-hmm. I can transmit internet paka Embu mm-hmm. Kirinyaga mm-hmm. it can go up to northeastern north mm-hmm. tena kwa ndugu mwingine inaweza enda in fact it can cover the whole country mm-hmm. yes so kulingana na wewe uh, inaweza inaweza enda Kenya for how long uh, now that umeanza uh, uh, kuna ile timeline mmeanza timeline yeah. my timeline if i have all the, the resources in terms of uh, equipment mm-hmm. within one year nime cover the whole country mm-hmm. Wacha tuangalie kwa mfano ukiangalia katika mobile service providers mm. you know we only have one base station sio hata mbili mm. na hiyo base station ndio imekuwa repeated mm-hmm. inaitwa point to multi point mm. so kwa mfano ukiangalia point to multi point na hiyo technology mm-hmm. ndio huwa inafanyika sana katika wow. Kenya mzima mm-hmm. so kama tuko na the right equipment in terms of these uh, dishes mm-hmm. we can do a lot mm-hmm. pia tuna mpango ya kusaidia kusaidiana na government mm-hmm. na serikali mm-hmm. juu tuko na hiyo kwamba wako na fiber Yeah. In other subcounties. Mm. Hiyo fiber yao pia tunaweza kuchukua na turushie mm-hmm. farmers mm-hmm. in our communities again. Mm. Yes. Wow, thank you so much. Tunashukuru sana.